Here's your wings. Hope you got tomorrow off. Why? I feel sorry for your butthole. What? This, okay, hold up. Read the bottle. Sorry for my butthole. I'm. I'm uh. I'm not. I'm. I'm starting to question it. Twelve seconds later. Ah, uh, it was bad. <laughs> oh man. Uh, hey everyone, joining us here today. We're in Lutz, or apparently something that's called pronounced Lutz, but I'm a little skeptical. Florida, basically the Tampa area, just north of Tampa. L U T Z. Lutz. Or Lutz. I don't know. Let me know what you correct down below. On our way to a place called Black Sheep. So Black Sheep is a uh, American pub. It's a bar. And they have a spicy wing challenge. And this spicy wing challenge is supposed to be the hottest wings in Tampa and or the area. So spicy wing challenge. The sauce is made by a local company with lots of Carolina Reaper apparently. Um, it is a Carolina Reaper wing challenge. So the challenge is you only have five minutes, just only five minutes, which is absolutely insane, to eat, which is an order of their wings, their large wings, apparently their jumbo wings. Uh, the order is eight. Um, and if you complete it successfully, uh, you do win a t-shirt. I'll probably grab a couple items before. You can't eat spicy food on an empty stomach. So we are in the quest of a t-shirt. Um, the wings are $13 for the order, and uh, yeah, just lots of pain and agony and all that goes with it. So yeah, we're turning in here now, but uh, that should be fun. So yeah, guys, Carolina Reaper Wings, spicy challenge. You guys love these spicy challenges. Can't say I do quite as much. Um, well, I do. Uh, no, I, no I, I don't really. I don't really like them, especially when they burn my butt. So last spicy challenge did didn't turn out well i'll tell you more about that but that everyone let's go find these food spicy wings let's go everybody so you can't eat spicy food on an empty stomach so we got so many items here and they all look very 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 delicious so to start I got a chef salad what I think is so cool of this not only like ham but deviled eggs they do deviled eggs here like really kind of going for this vibe you're gonna notice this theme it's kind of like a homegrown kind of backyard cookout picnic kind of true southern slash Florida kind of American style pub restaurant menu I like it. I then have some of their Tuesday special. These are their carnitas tacos. And they also have a, uh, what they call an American taco, like, you know, traditional ground beef, blah, blah, blah. But guys, I love me carnitas. I then have a burger here. This was the build your own I went with. So it looking mighty fine. I went with some sauteed mushrooms, caramelized onions, uh, bacon. There is some vegetables on there, it's my choice. And what I think is really cool is they do their smash burgers on, again, like a Texas toast. Again, really kind of going that homegrown backyard vibe. Just like, you didn't really have buns. If you had a sandwich, you had a burger, you had whatever, you can just throw it on a white bread. And that bread looks great. Really nice, thick looking uh, piece. Nice and toasty. And they have their sweet potato fries, which these are a cinnamon maple sweet potato fry, actually. Ooh. Sweet. Mm. Oh, that made my mouth water. Ooh, just that little vibe. It reminds me of like a uh, cinnamon toast crunch on a sweet potato. Interesting. And then have their peach bourbon salmon with their house made, oh, there goes my light, truffle mashed potato. It sounds really good. And some broccoli. I'm all about that health. In fact, I'm just going to. And then they make this kind of peach barbecue sauce, they call it, with Baker's Mark and on salmon. Salmon's char grilled. Sounds delicious. That's really cool. Again, they have this giant menu. It's very diverse. We have gator bites. This is literally deep fried gator. Can't go to Florida and not have some gator, so. Mmm. 
I'm gonna tell you about that. But yeah, just these little gator balls, deep fried, share with a real rancher that make here as well. I may try to play around with this light a little bit, and uh, like that. Let's get eating. All right, everybody, so much better. Look at that. So, set an example for the kids. Well, I already got in the broccoli. Maybe I'll just eat that. I love broccoli, one of my favorite vegetables. Oh, everybody, I got a little bit of that peach barbecue on this. Hot damn. I'm gonna try to shove salad out. I love a deviled egg, believe it or not. If you're not familiar with deviled egg, it's pretty much like a hard boiled egg. Then they take the yolk, usually mix it with like a bit of like a mayonnaise, a little bit of paprika. Oh man, there's like a, like a Cajun vibe in that. We're like, wow, yeah, kind of like Old Bay. Delicious. And here, this is spinach and a cucumber and tomato and romaine. Oh, that ham on there is a great flavor. You know what this reminds me of? A Sunday picnic with like ham sandwiches and deviled eggs. Yeah. Not a complaint. And the size of the salad is massive. So shout out to Sweet Tea, guys. A thing I love when I'm in the United States. But hot damn. Well, I'm going to try um, maybe this burger out. So like I said, BYO Smash Burger. Built my own. This is kind of like a uh, version they have. They have a black sheep burger on there. Mm. But, man, that just smells good. And they uh, do it like a, uh, kind of like an onion burger. They take the caramelized onions, just smash them directly into that burger. Look mighty fine, mighty juicy. Let's see what it's all about. Oh man, the bite with that onion. Very, very rich, 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 rich patty patty. I've got put some, try a little ketchup on a burger. I love it. But they have so many like, get different sauces, the burger sauces. I just kind of got them all on the side so I can add an addition. But I do love some ketchup on burger, that bite of that bacon. Mm. Oh man, kind of helps cut a little bit of that richness. But again, you can build, mad your own, and everything from the onions, the mushrooms, which they make here, the caramelized onions and mushrooms. Then I got so many of these sauces. This sauce packs intense peppercorn flavor. This is called their Phoenix. Let's see what that's all about. Let's see what that is. That is a that is a saucy bite. All about that sauce action. Yeah, I will never complain about a good smash burger. I like it. Woo! All the sauce. Oh man, the addition of hot sauce on a rich fatty burger is the best thing ever. Let's try these uh, sweet potatoes out. Yeah! You get like cinnamon, sugar, I'll try a little ketchup, a little more sweetness. Nice crunch. It tastes like cinnamon toast crunch. It's like cinnamon toast crunch or kind of like a cinnamon waffle. That's cool. Kid nostalgia, that's why you get through this menu. And I'll try their burger sauce out just for the sake of it. So, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Whew, comes the chef. I believe it's uh, Dijon and mayonnaise. Sweet relish. Sweet relish. Wow, that's delicious. I think it's a relish and the uh, Dijon. It's really zesty. It's not overly. Uh, it's not overly heavy. All right, next I'd say we probably try this salmon out. Now this is a. Nice looking filet. I do love me salmon. Let me know your favorite kind of fish down below. Salmon is one of mine. Let's grab some of that salmon. Looking mighty fine. Char grilled salmon, barbecued salmon, whatever you call it, is the best. So let's see what that tastes all about. Hold up. Wow. All right. So there's layers to this. So the first flavor you get is that kind of nice char grill. Very moist salmon. But there. And that peach, and that sauce. There's this zip. I can't say I place too much of the bourbon in it by flavor. I like don't taste bourbon, but I almost get this like awakening in my palate that there's bourbon in it, which is super weird, but it absolutely works and it is absolutely delicious. And I think there's a, there's a little bit of seasoning on there as well. I want to say it's like a kind of like a. Montreal steak spice or something gives it a little bit of this almost like garlic onion. All right, guys. Next we got gator, alligator. If you're not familiar with gator is, which 
There's gators everywhere, like in Florida, like literally every corner, every creek, people's pools, backyard. How many people die? Do a lot of people die from alligators? It happens, yeah. It happens. We won't talk about that. Let's focus on food. It's normally puppies, though. Puppies, yeah. Oh, yeah, you eat their pets. Well, I'm not gonna. I, listen, I eat the animals that eat your pets, so I'm doing you a favor. Jolie, suck up. All right. And so these tacos, this is a ridiculous deal. $2.22, guys, on Tuesdays. That is insane. The carnitas, so basically, um, carnitas, if you're not familiar, it's like a pulled pork, we'll call it. Looks mighty fine. See what it's all about. Meat is very soft, very rich. They told me to put some of the hot sauce on it, so I'll try this Rhino 5. See what it's all about. Nice bit of acidity. So I've tried it with all of them, and the Phoenix is delicious. I really like the Phoenix, but I think the... Um, and the, the, the round of five is great, but I think the mango habanero actually goes best with these tacos. It's just lovely. Adds like this kind of rich, creamy texture. Last but not least, what I am excited to try, let's try these gator guys. Kept you waiting. Everybody wonder what gators like? Little gator dots. Try them. Yep, tastes just like it did. I'm ready to go. There's a lovely seasoning on it. The flavor profile on it. Try a little bit of this. Uh, Cajun Ranch? Creole Ranch, see? That's a nice sauce. But yeah, a little fried Gator Bite. Definitely a nice pop of sodium. Nice bit of like a little pepper. It's supposed to be fantastic with all the hot sauce. Let's put all the hot sauce on it. I'm with the Gator Bites, but that's more enough food. Let's get us some wings. 12 seconds later. We got tomorrow off. Why? I feel sorry for your butthole. What? It, okay, hold up. Read the bottle. Sorry for my butthole. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not, I'm, I'm starting to question it. All right. So, okay, yeah. So the sauce again called FTH stands for fudge. That's hot. It says pepper forward, twice as much Carolina Reaper as on Apache's Curse, which is a very hot sauce. The sauce is mad and it's your fault. I know you don't think it's your own fault, but trust me, it is. I guess it is my own fault, you know, if I'm uh, if I'm if I'm doing this by myself. We feel sorry for your butt. Oh, it's literally on the label. Okay, okay. Um, kisses and love ya. Dear God. And uh, what they did say too is, so I asked them just for like, a, I'm gonna do some photos with this to keep them. So they sauced them, but not have the pool of sauce. He's coming a pool of sauce. So I know in a moment they will be drowning these in the FTH sauce. So I'm starting to regret this decision. I know these are supposed to be the hottest wings around, but like I'm really starting to regret this. So uh, first ingredient, Carolina Reaper mash. Wish me luck. All right, everybody. So like we said, pray for my butthole. That just, uh, this is, this is, I guys, I, why do I do these things? I'm really starting to question my decisions. But yeah, anyway, they dumped all the extra sauce on them. So these are now so very, 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 very well sauced. Uh, but yeah, guys, like we said, five minutes, hopefully to get a free t-shirt. I got some napkins, no drinks, yeah. but uh, as a reward, I do request a unsweet tea. How's that? All right, so guys, Wish me luck. I honestly hope I ate enough food. I'm kind of starting to question it because last time I did a really spicy burrito. I thought I ate enough food and I was literally on the toilet all night. I kid you not, like 2 a.m. sitting on the toilet, my head against the wall, like, eh, and let's just say things were happening, which I will not say on camera. Anyway, grabbed my first wing. So how about we get a rocking and rolling? Oh, and what I will say is really cool. I like how they, um, so they steam them, then they fry them, and then they char grill them. So you get some real kind of dynamic flavor and action in that. And I can tell by the bone because they're still white. These are not frozen. Must always be fresh? Yeah. Fresh wings. All right, everybody. So that happened to be, sorry, I'm gonna say count of. Oh, I'm really regretting this. Anyway, ha, 
pray for my butthole, everybody. Let me pray for my anus. It's on the bottle. Let's say, um, it'd be five, four, three, two, one. Let's do it. Oh, oh, guys. Oh, no. Whew. Okay, immediate regret. Blech. Oh my gosh, that is, uh, whew. that is picante. The, uh, They're an immediate burn. Taste of Reaper. For sure, on that. Whew. But um, the char grilled wing is really cool. Yeah. Oh yeah, that is spicy. Got mm. Javelin Reaper mash. Mm. I think I'm traumatized by Reaper mash. Just the flavor and the texture of it. After it was on that burrito, they had me on the toilet all night. Woo! Yeah! Gloves are definitely a necessity. Hoo wee! One thing I will say though. Ah. There's a the ah. Okay, hold on. Whew. I might have to shut up. I don't know if I can talk. Whew. Whew. Of course, there's a massive wing. Oh, man. Florida size chicken. Mm. Woo -woo. Mm. Ah. Bad idea. Regret. Yeah. <laughs> ah. I think it's what? Three minutes in? Cool guys. Alright. Uh, what I was trying to say is there's still like uh, well it tastes like Reaper. Uh, there's still a little bit of like non-Reaper to it. Uh, but it was bad. <laughs> oh man. Uh, well, that was not getting any easier. Uh, Uh -huh. I see what they call it. F that's hot. F that's hot. Woo. Hi, everybody. No. Woo we. Uh, I just saw man, I'm just heating up. How we doing for time? One minute. Fudge. Everybody, one minute. Woo! See how I get this done. Is that done? Done. Done. Woo wee. Uh, what time? 437. 437, guys. Oh my gosh, that was, uh, whew, that was, uh, 
Can I have that unsweet tea? A few splendors, please. Woo. Make three. Oh, guys, that was bad. F that is hot. F that is really, really hot. Oh, man. Oh. Oh. You can already tell. So I'm in burden. But, man, I feel that in my gut. Man, anything with Reaper Mash. Oh, I don't think I'm going to... After that, I think I'm going to stay away from it. Ugh. I'm going to leave Florida tomorrow. I'm traveling. I don't want to be having fire thrown out my butt all night. Firmly. Man, very, oh, what are you doing? <laughs> don't just stand there so kindly. Uh, uh, so I'm gonna try to stand there and look pretty. Watch me die. Woo. Believe it or not, everybody, I'm not a masochist. I do not enjoy pain. But somehow, you guys, for you guys, keep, <coughs> I keep doing this damn spicy thing. No bueno. Whew. Man, that's hot. F that's hot. Man, the name is very suiting. Holy jumpers. Whew. Well, uh, I guess we did it, just barely. So thank you for the tea. Well, I guess we do get a shirt as well, which is pretty cool. But, uh, that everybody. Uh, whew. yeah, no, that still burns. I will try to speak about the food real quick. What I do want to say, well, I talked about the items earlier, so I'm gonna save that for later. But the wings, they I like they got blah blah blah. Hold on. Focus. Ah. Yeah, that's hot. Hot damn. But uh I do like the char the char grill on there. It's a really nice flavor. It's probably really enjoyable with one of the hot or medium or mild or other flavors. Good accent. But with the F that's hot and F that's hot, man. Whoo me. But uh Yeah. I don't know what else to say. Uh excuse me. Ooh. Yeah. That tastes like Reaper. Ugh. I don't know guys, let me know if I should give up these spicy challenges down below. Give me a, I don't know, say something. Man, these things, woo wee. But anyway, like the gentleman here, pray for my anus. Huge things of black sheep, but I'm gonna come back here in a second. Well, I'm not dying, so, woo. Be right back. Woo, thank you. So guys. That stuff burns, man. It's still burning. Yeah. So Chef here gave me the real tip. He said the best thing, which I believe it, is to get the mango habanero wings, which I really enjoyed, and then add a little bit of that to it, yeah? Mm -hmm. That sounds actually really nice, because again, man, that thing, the FTH, it got heat. It does still have some flavor, but a little bit of like sweetness and that Caribbean vibe, that's probably fantastic, but we got our t-shirt, which is Black Sheep American Pub. Thank you guys, seriously. Shout out to the staff, they've been absolutely fantastic. This is a district shirt. These are actually really quality t-shirts. Nice bit of stretch to that. That's a quality, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I will say that's definitely something which, a theme I've noticed in their food, they definitely have some good quality, quality products. And they gotta make a lot of their stuff here. So I will say the items early, I had earlier, the, the smash burger was just pretty, it was just it was just a traditional, good, tried to smash burger. The salmon was very good. I really enjoyed that little peach on it. The burger was really good. What else I actually really like, this sounds hilarious, man, but even that salad, that salad was like, like a, it was like a, like the, the egg and the, whatever you put in that, what do you put in the deviled egg? Uh, sriracha. Really? The BS sauce or the burger sauce. B okay, it must be that burger sauce. Oh yeah, and that burger sauce, that was fire. That stuff was delicious. Like I said, I don't know they like mayonnaise sauces. That stuff was really good. And whatever, like it's probably that with a little bit of sriracha in that uh, 
uh, the deviled egg was very, very nice. And, and the funny, they got some, like, you guys deviled eggs as an appetizer. Mm -hmm. Like, like I said, the guys, this is like the most interesting menu. It's like a trip back. I don't know. It's like, I, I want to say it's like a Florida Sunday picnic. Which I guess technically you could have year round. I want to say in the summer, but down here in Florida, you have a year round, guys. Hashtag from Canada. I'm used to like, you have a picnic for like two months a year. Can you have a picnic 12 months a year down here? Yes. Damn! I don't know, guys. Maybe I gotta be a snowbird. Let me know if I should move somewhere a little warmer. But uh, yeah, it was cool. And you said, what was the most pop? What was that bowl thing you're talking the about? Famous pub bowl. Okay, they have this thing called the famous pub bowl. Mashed potatoes, mac and cheese, street corn, bacon, chicken fries, country gravy, cheese. All right, one more time. Hold, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Let, let me. I need to. I need to make sure I get this. I'm still a little, only half there. I'm a little half buzzed with that heat. Okay, in a bowl. So just throw it in a bowl. Mashed potatoes. Mac and, mac and cheese, which they said they take the mac and cheese, they like take it uh, like, and make it super luscious. Then a street corn, which they make here like in Olote, Esquites. Bacon. Bacon. Uh, chicken fries. Chicken fries, which are like fried chicken? Chicken breasts, yeah. Bacon. Chicken breast fried, okay, strips. Yep. All right. And then, uh, country gravy. Okay. And country gravy, like a peppercorn white style gravy. For those who are not familiar, kind of like a bachamel. And all that thrown in a bowl? And cheddar jack cheese on top. Man, that is completely calorie free. Yes. Oh my lord, that would be like, I'm sure, like, how do you describe that? That sounds like probably the mix between a mouthgasm, diabetes, heart disease, a heart attack, and pure bliss and euphoria all in one. That is insane. Who came up with that? Yeah. Were drugs involved? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding guys. But wow, that sounds. Am I trying it? Heck no. But that sounds really. Honestly, someone come here and try one of those for me, and please report down below. And tell them I said hi. Stab here, super friendly. Somebody in in Lutz, not Lutz, Lutz or Tampa area. It's basically the same thing, just a little further north, Tampa. Come try out a pub bowl and report back to me, because that sounds like kind of the best thing ever and at the same time like pray for me so and i might i have to pray for my anus so i won't let you pray for the rest of my health right now i won't ask for all your prayers but like i said thank you guys really cool place until next time everybody that's it i'm actually going now so stay happy then you're happy eating yeah Whew. until next time have over there Here's your wings. Hope you got tomorrow off. Why? You didn't read the bottle? Uh, no. I like for the, the bottle for the sauce? I feel sorry for your butthole. What? Okay, well, uh, let me, uh, okay, hold up. Read the bottle. Sorry for my butthole. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not, I'm, I'm starting to question it. All right. So, okay, yeah, so the sauce again called FTH stands for fudge, that's hot. It says pepper forward, twice as much Carolina Reaper as on Apache's Curse, which is a very hot sauce. The sauce is mad, and it's your fault. I know you don't think it's your own fault, but trust me, it is. So I've answered the age-old question of where is Waldo? Turns out, Waldo's in Florida. And it looks like this. This is literally a town called Waldo. Now you know. Everybody, the time has come. Not for me to shave my head, for you to subscribe. So click my face right here, subscribe, click one of these two videos I picked just for you. And exciting news, we also have a new channel. So if you wanna watch challenges, raw, uncut, so you get to hear what the audience says, hear my real thoughts, opinions, noises, etc. link down below, Joel Hanson Raw. So check that out, appreciate y'all. Until next time, well, I'll see you in a minute. Click on these videos.